Welcome to IT and Digital Resources in Teaching Foreign Languages, lecture number 26, using Google services in the organization of educational process. Outline for today's lecture. The first question, ways to use Google services in the organization of educational activities. And the second question for discussion, Google Drive, Classroom, Presentation and Forum. In this computerized era, Google is the most commonly used tool in everyday life. From starting a day with Google News to saying goodnight to a friend using handouts, many things can be done with Google. It is basically a search engine enabling everyone to connect with the world in various ways. Along with several common uses, Google has a significant role in education. Google's numerous products such as Scholar, Gmail, Drive, Books, News, Calendar, and etc. are very helpful in enriching a student's learning experience. So what can you do with Google in your classroom? As it turns out, Google offers a lot. Check out the list of 10 ways to use Google in the classroom. The first, collaborate with the teachers on your in your team in your building and across the district by sharing folders in Google Drive. Differentiate instruction by creating folders with designed levels of access. That way your GT students can find and complete easy assignments and your students in special populations can access the differentiated lessons they need. Communicate regularly. Use Google Plus to create learning communities and Blogger to keep students and parents up to date on what's going on in class. Visitors to your Blogger site can interact with your blogs and podcasts. Offer model assignments. Students like to see examples. Use the Google Shared Drive to store a holistically created essays or an example of a well-written science experiment. The fifth. Monitor assignments with Google Classroom. It is a management tool that allows for customization and communication. Students turn in assignments electronically and teachers provide digital feedback and grades to students and their parents. The six. Curate content. Store the projects your students create and house your own speci specially developed lessons in Google Drive. Keep the date with Google Calendar. The calendar keeps you and your students current with reminders and alerts. The eighth, create Google Forms. Developing forms in Google is quick and easy, so you can make sitting charts and gradient rubrics and more. Make it relevant. Take advantage of Google Earth and Google News for those teachable moments when you want to show what's going on and where it is in the world. And the last, incorporate the entire G Suite by getting Google Classroom. Google Classroom gives you at a glance views of which students are caught up on assignments and which still owe your work, and the suite brings all the Google services together for convenient access. Now we will speak about Google Docs. There are a lot of pluses. So collaborate on lesson plans, keep a running records on meeting notes, create a shared lesson plan, improve the writing process, publish student work, translate letters home to parents, track student homework, coordinate signups, personalize flashcards, collect, share, and analyze data, use slides to create dynamic and engaging presentations. Google Forms. So first of all, how to submit answers in a form and see results, administer assessments, survey your students' interests, collect observation feedback, submit reading records online, keep track of discipline referrals, automatically grade forms with Flubaro.
next program that we will discuss is Google Calendar. Manage your schedule effectively, share calendars, check out shared resources, map out the standards uh, you are teaching, create appointment slots, teach time management. In Google Calendar, students can schedule when to submit their assignments, exam timetable, and other events. They can share their schedule with other students and view schedules that others, others have shared with them. They can also get an event reminder via email. Furthermore, students can enable an option to send a text message to their mobile phone that helps them submit their assignments on time. Gmail. Communicate in different languages. Find global pen polls. Enable labs to increase productivity. Gmail is one of the most commonly used tools among the Google products. It is helpful in sharing information with other students and teachers. Mails from different sources can be organized by using folders which reduce time to search for required mails and attachments. Google Talk Invite a guest lecturer into your classroom, hold office hours and homework help. Google Talk and Hangouts tools help students connect with the folks in their network. By using these tools, students can chat and make video calls for free. Up to 10 individuals from different computers can have a chance to connect through a video call at the same time. Students can use these options in various ways, such as doing combined studies, discussing doubts, and sharing views without traveling long distances. Google Sites Google create a classroom website, manage students' e-portfolios, submit student projects, build a curriculum portal. Google Groups group students by subject and skill level, create parent support groups. Google Scholar is special designed for researchers to search for scholarly literature from multiple sources. By using an RSS feed for this tool, all the latest abstract articles, theses, and books can be directly downloaded to the mailbox. Along with its regular use, the tool also enables students to track citations for their publications. Moreover, students can create a public profile. Google Alerts provide flexibility in getting updates on a particular topic directly to the student's mailbox so that they can be up to date with the latest information related to the topic of their choice. Google Drive has various options to create files like documents, presentations, spreadsheets, forms, and drawings where assignments can be done and shared with other students or teachers. It enables students to create different folders which can be used to upload the data and organize it. Moreover, all content on that drive can be accessed from any computer with internet connection. Google Books is one of the best tools for students which helps them find millions of books and preview or read it for free. With the help of this tool, students have an option to refer to numerous books for a specific topic to enrich their level of knowledge on that matter. Google Classroom has become very popular among educators recently. With the help of Classroom, it's very easy to get all students in one place. It makes it very convenient for teachers to assign tasks and for students to submit their work. With Google Classroom, you can easily create lessons, share resources, eliminate cheating, make class announcements, communicate with students and notify those who need help. The most powerful tool in education technology, Google Classroom is an ideal platform to manage teaching as well as learning. Google Classroom is a digital education technology that makes it easy for students and instructors to connect. This free online learning platform is equally beneficial for students and teachers. It is designed collaboratively with educators, which helps them save their available time on organizing classes and improving communication with learners. This platform also makes teaching more creative, visual as well as meaningful, which is beneficial for students worldwide. Jamboard is one smart display, 
quickly pull in images from a Google search, save work to the cloud automatically, use the easy-to-read handwriting and shape recognition tool, and draw with batteries with your finger, just like a whiteboard. Jamboard makes learning visible and accessible to all collaborators on the Jam session. Plus, it's easy to present your jams in real time through Meet, allowing for easy sharing or making real-world connections. Welcome to EdTech Tips for Class. Some years ago, Google created their own email client, Gmail, which has become one of the top providers of email services around the world, not only for private use, but also for education institutions and businesses. But a Gmail account is much more than just an email service, so if you have one, make sure you take advantage of its full potential. Let's have a look at the different apps connected to a Gmail account. To begin with, we have Drive, a cloud storage and file backup system which provides you with 15 GB of disk space to host all kinds of files, photos, videos and so on for free. Now, 15 GB is a lot of space, but if you ever fill it up, you can always buy some more space from Google. Within Drive, you can also create all kinds of documents with Google's own web-based Office Suite. With Google Docs, a simple but powerful word processor, you can write text documents and use Google Search to find relevant information for the topic you're working in without leaving your document. We also have Google Sheets, a handy spreadsheet program to organize your data and work with tons of formulas for your calculations as you would in Microsoft Excel. The suit includes Google Slides to create stunning presentations like the one I'm using for this video. You can also use Microsoft PowerPoint presentations within Google Slides. In fact, Google Docs, Sheets and Slides can all be easily converted to any standard file format in the market. We can also create forms with different types of questions to make surveys or gather information from your friends, your students or your customers and analyze the submitted data in an associated spreadsheet. There's also a practical calendar in which we can organize all our meetings, lectures or events, establishing notifications and inviting our contacts. You'll never forget an appointment again. You can also create groups from your contacts and use them as mailing lists or as a base for sharing documents, for example. Another application is Sites, a simple and fast way to create sophisticated web pages with the help of existing templates. You can communicate in real time with your friends, students or customers through Hangouts, either through texting, audio or video calls. With Blogger, you can run your own blogs on topics of your interest, either by yourself or in collaboration with others. If you are a teacher and your education institution uses Google Apps, you can also take advantage of Google Classroom, a friendly e-learning site where teachers can interact with their students, setting and marking assignments, integrating resources and interactive content. And don't forget that each Google account has an associated social network profile in Google+. Plus and also a YouTube account to create your own video channel and upload your recordings. If you are a teacher, remember that in addition to the private Google accounts, there is also a free version of Google Apps for Education, 
that any academic institution can easily request using their own internet domain name. And beware, because in this free version for education, the drive disk space for each user is unlimited and the administrators can create as many user accounts as they like for all the students and teachers. There is also a commercial version for private companies called Google Apps for Work with almost the same functionality. One of the most interesting features of Google Apps is that these applications run on any device and on any platform or operating system. This means that wherever you are, you can access your documents on any device and continue your work where you left off. In Google Apps, you can easily share your documents, spreadsheets, presentations, etc. with others. What's more, you can also create all these in collaboration with your colleagues or your students. Those who have writing permissions on a document can edit it at any time, even simultaneously. The editing history of a document is stored so that you can always revert to a previous version. Where can we find all these applications? Well, there are several ways to access. The easiest way is to open your Gmail account and use the apps icon at the top right corner of the screen. Here you'll find all the apps and you can rearrange these icons as you like. Don't miss our upcoming video tutorials showing how to use each of these applications to take advantage of their full potential. Thanks very much for following our channel and see you soon! Life is like Google, you just need to know what you are searching for. Google in its products enable students to access a plethora of information and help them save and share required data. Moreover, these tools allow a student to interact with their peers for free. With appropriate use of Google, students can succeed easily in their academic life. Question for discussion after this lecture. What is a Google Drive? Describe how to use Google Drive. And what is a Google Form? Here you can see the list of references that you can use after our lectures and practical lessons. Thank you for your attention.